I'm going to piss a little while. But, um, I'm going to piss the last I can do this. My uh, spam for me. That was a. I could also. everybody, Griever here, and today we are going to be taking a look at, and I'm sure you've already seen my glorious thumbnail and read the title, we are going to be taking a look at the Destiny Nerf crossover, the Ace of Spades. Now, unlike some others who have reviewed the Ace of Spades and got their sent to them by Bungie, um, I paid for mine, and I've also played Destiny and love Destiny, unlike some other people. Uh, for the last like 10 years and if you need further proof of that it's a lot of hours I put into this game but I digress so as always with any review we're going to be doing on the channel here uh, we are going to be going over how this thing functions uh, the aesthetics of the blaster take it over to the workbench actually open it up and see what's inside of it and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. But before we do that, I'm sure there are some of you who watch this channel who are going, wait, you play Destiny? Or why are you so jazzed about this thing? Um, besides the fact that I have this lovely beauty here, uh, this is like one of my favorite weapons in Destiny 2. Uh, I have mained, as you saw with the numbers, um, I have mainly mained a hunter the entire time. Uh, I started the D1 beta as a hunter and just as soon as start of Destiny 1 had my hunter and I'm still playing that same hunter to this day. Uh, but what this is, is in game, it's actually an exotic hand cannon originally utilized by Cade 6, who is the hunter vanguard or was the hunter vanguard. It is a hundred and four in Destiny 2, it is a hundred and forty rounds per minute hand cannon which makes it about like medium tier uh in as far as like power and speed go because you have 120s which uh pack a punch but obviously fire very slowly and then you have like the 180s that fire really quickly but don't hit as hard as the other hand cannon um and fun fact the sunshot is the only one in game left that fires at 150. Uh, but also speaking of that, when this first came out in Season 4, um, or the Forsaken DLC, this was the only, game, only gun in-game that actually came with the Firefly perk. It does roll on other weapons now, which are mainly throwbacks to D1, like the Hung Jury, or a lot of the, um, the raid weapons, I think the... Crota weapons and Taken King weapons will roll them, and if I'm not mistaken, I think also Fatebringer. Um, but also, if you do look at those, it, they're slightly tweaked, where the Firefly perk looks like the normal Firefly perk. Uh, up, but on this one, though, it's actually a different icon, and that was done specifically for Nathan Fillion, who was the who was a is, was, is the voice actor of Cade 6 and a nod to the series Firefly. But, okay, so we're going to get into, well, one, what does this come with? You do get the blaster. Uh, you also do get a second, uh, a second cylinder for it, which is cool. And you also get 12 elite darts for these. Um, I'm not going to take them out of box. Uh, two things. One, I was highly disappointed this was actually not a Destiny-themed uh, deck of cards, but 
they're also just regular elite darts. Like they're nothing special. It's white darts with orange tips. So nothing too special in the way of darts. So if you're collecting darts, maybe not biggest thing but honestly the box is actually really cool um this ran about 50 bucks um i know originally it was you had to get it in game first by completing uh one of the 10th anniversary triumphs or actually completing the 10th anniversary triumph uh i was lucky enough to actually be able to get my hands on two of them i think you were able to pre-order up to three or no pre-order four and I think by now it should be open to everyone being able to get them. Uh, so the way this works is it is a flywheel blaster. You do have a rev trigger right here. Uh, you just hold it down, pull the trigger, and fire out the dart. When you pull the trigger, it will rotate and f it will, I believe it rotates and then fires. Yeah, it rotates then fires. Uh, the cylinders are at six shots, unlike in-game, which is 13. Obviously, knowing Nerf and the way they uh, utilize space, it would have to be huge if they wanted to try 13 shots. But you do get six shots, and unfortunately, the Momentum Mori perk will not proc if you do hit somebody and then reload. Uh, but speaking of the reload, you pull back actually on the hammer to release the cylinder, which drops to the side and allows you to actually swap out your dart cylinders. So if this was out, you drop it, grab a second, put it in, reload, and you're good to go. Uh, going over the aesthetics of this blaster, this, oh, and this also runs on four AA batteries. Uh, going over the aesthetics of the blaster, uh, I mean, honestly, it does look really, really nice. And you can get this particular um, aesthetic in-game as well. If you did order this, you should get a code for it um, sent to you. Or you can actually just buy it in-game for, I think it's 700 silver, uh, which is the Destiny in-game currency. Uh, go visit Tessa Eververse. She misses, she misses everybody. She keeps thinking her poor Uncle Fenchurch is alive. We all know he's dead by now. Uh, she just refuses to believe it. But anyway, so the design of this is actually pretty nice. Uh, this is, the theme of this is referred to as the Pocket Ace. You do have, um, now there was a little bit of a, a hiccup in crediting, because a lot of this was taken from design work from fan art. So originally it was not credited properly but Bungie has since gone and credited the artist who did do that fan work for what this is oh and fun thing in game you do still have the you actually do get the orange tip so you know safety uh so what you have is almost kind of a inverse coloring of the original ace of spades the original ace of spades was mostly black with white accenting um, here it is mostly white with black accenting. You, and it's, I mean, the paint is really nice. You do have uh, some different textures throughout the plastic, which is pretty cool. Uh, for some reason, though, the, it's not actually a sticker, but it, the cylinder almost looks like a sticker. So I'm not going to say they cheaped out on it, but it just feels like compared to everything else, it just kind of feels off a bit. Um, it's a very smooth plastic. It's, I mean, you can't, it doesn't like scratch or anything like that. So, I mean, there's that, but it almost feels like it was almost like it was hydro dipped weirdly. I'm not, honestly, I'm really not sure how they did it, but yeah, that's the only weird thing I have to say with it is just that's off. Uh, you do have really nice filigree, um, along the trigger well and the back end of the blaster itself, which is really nice. On the, I guess you can say the photo side of it, because this is also the box up side, you do have Nerf here and Destiny here. Those are not on the in game models, they are on the blaster, you got to advertise it. On the opposite side, you do have all your warnings and such. Uh, your battery tray is right here, and you also do have a jam door, which is right there in case you do have any issues, uh, like a dart getting stuck in the flywheel or something like that. 
However, there is also a lock that if that is open, you cannot, it, it doesn't rip. So if you want to also see how it works without hearing the motors go. But yeah, you just close it over and you're good to go. Um, as I mentioned, this does take six rounds. Uh, yeah, I think that's just about everything. Uh, I mean, this is a beefy blaster, but thankfully it's not a heavy one. So if you wanted to, you can actually just one hand it. Um, it may get tiresome after a while, but it's not terribly uncomfortable. Um, compared to the in-game model, this is, I mean, definitely design-wise, this is very, very spot on. And I'm very happy with it because I'm hoping that, because I did get two of these, I'm hoping I will be able to do one of them up proper like the ace of spades in game which i'm very excited about trying but enough of that let's go over to the workbench open this thing up and then i'm going to give you my final thoughts on this okay so here we are at the workbench with the ace of spades here um i've already went ahead and undid all of the screws just to save time and i did check i did get them all um you have your battery tray door there, which gives you access to your four AA batteries, where, where you have to put your four AA batteries, I should say. Uh, also, to just make things a little easier on yourselves, uh, go ahead and if you're going to take this out, I mean, obviously you're going to probably want to do it anyway, but remove the inner cylinder, um, just so this way it, your um, blaster will actually lay flat because without that in, um, the actual um, cylinder doesn't stay locked in place so it can actually move about. So let us remove this and the cylinder does stay on this side of the blaster. And I'm just gonna take a quick little overview as the screw goes fine. So on the opposite side of the blaster, holding in the Holding in your uh, jam door is this black plate here, which has the little actuator here, which is what hits that little sensor there, which causes your motor braking. And then you have these three screws holding in the road, the um, arm mech for your cylinder itself. There are no panels for this. It's all uh, mono body, so there's nothing really to separate out for when we would like to do um, painting on this. So here we have, geez, we have a bunch, we have a bunch of switches in here, which I'm going to look forward to when I can mod this up or get this modded, uh, take out, I'm not 100% sure what this switch is. I think it's, or what this actually does. It looks like it's kind of almost like a dart tooth. It uh, doesn't look like it has a switch lock to it, but there is a motor braking switch here. So you're not going to be able to rev the flywheels while the, uh, the swing arm is open. This is your uh, jam door lock. There's that. Uh, you have your rev trigger back here which also acts as the lock for the trigger itself. It's honestly one of the biggest rev triggers I've ever seen in a blaster that I have opened up. Uh, you can see the wiring going from the rev trigger up and through to the motors, which leads there. And then you have the cluster that is there because of the at least two safety switches that I can see right here. And there's also a board there. Um, I'm guessing that's the thermistor to make sure that the voltage uh, stays level. Uh, overall, though, I mean, it's not that bad of a blaster. I mean, if you take out all of the, if you just do the rewire and take out this, I mean, you're basically rewire, rewiring a strife, uh, which isn't terrible. But because of the way this does work and everything, you have a decent amount of um, uh, moving parts on the back end of this. So here you have the trigger, or not the trigger, but the hammer, which acts actually as the cylinder release. You have your 
rev trigger. You have, I'm guessing, yeah, this is just a, all this does is push that down. I'm actually fairly positive. You could probably just take these two pieces out and not have any issues. I think these just might be um, safety redundancy so that you can't pull the trigger once the arm is open. And then here you actually have the pusher itself. Um, this, uh, this arm here cycles your cylinder. This is the actual pusher, uh, which when it cycles, it'll push down on your trigger, will go up pushing this down to rotate it and at the same time move this up which moves all this and all that so yeah if you're going to do any kind of paint work on it and you need to strip the internals of it i highly recommend you take a snapshot of this so this way you know what goes what and where uh, but yeah over and all i mean it's i mean it's very it's it's complicated, simple internals. Um, if you've ever rewired any kind of electronic flywheel blaster, you should have no problem rewiring this. Um, as for myself, I am surprised that my strifle actually still works because I am horrible at soldering. And so, yeah, I may be reaching out to one of my friends to maybe do a rewire on this for me, but you know, I'm probably going to hold off on that until at least the summer because once that's done, I'm going to want to repaint this up. And if I'm not, I'm not going to get all the work done just to have it sit on my wall. So I'm going to get everything done in one shot. But yeah, these are the internals of your Ace of Spades. So uh, let's close this up and I'll give you my final thoughts on what I think of it. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Ace of Spades. While I absolutely love it, there are some pros, there are some cons to it. So, a uh, couple of things I do like about it. One, the fact that it is a huge, beefy hand cannon, very reminiscent of Destiny itself. I'm very happy with that. I mean, this is basically kind of a one-to-one -one for the in-game item. And that just tickles me in the right place. Um, shut up, Cam. A couple of things I'm not too keen on is, one, the placement of the rev trigger. Like, it's not a big grip, but I'm also not used to flywheel blasters, so I'm constantly, like, if I'm holding it in just, like, an awkward way, like, if I'm too up on it, I'm constantly hitting the rev trigger when I don't want to. Um, another thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is that it's only six shots. They could have made it seven at least. Because um, looking at the cylinder, you may have had to finagle it a little bit, but I think they could have gotten seven in here. Just saying. Um, I do like the fact that it does come with a second cylinder, so it's not like a one and done and you're screwed, like the Alien's Pulse Rifle where they only gave you one proprietary clip for it. Um, the fact that it's four double A's and it's all the way in the front, it honestly, it's a good balance. It doesn't make it front heavy, but if you're holding it in a way where you don't want to keep hitting the rev trigger and you're holding it like really high up here, it can get a little heavy after a while. I'm not saying it's like, you know, debilitatingly heavy, but I can see where it can kind of get uncomfortable after a bit. So there is that. Uh, you also do have the long barrel, so it does kind of hurt performance a little bit, but I mean, truthfully, I'm getting this thing because it's the friggin' Ace of Spades, not because I can hit 100 feet with it, and, you know, no questions asked. Um, and then it's to the price point. Price point, you're getting this for $50. Um, and honestly, that's actually a pretty good deal in my opinion, because one, you're getting a now, in-game accurate uh, Ace of Spades for 50 bucks, which is a good size, molded plastic and not 3D printed, and it also acts as a functional blaster. 
So you can just, you know, have fun with it in your house, your shop, or with your kids or whatever. Um, you know, take the batteries out and obviously don't put darts in it. Uh, you have a great uh, cosplay piece for this. And also because it is fairly in-game accurate, if you are good enough, which, fingers crossed I am, you can paint this up to look like the original Ace of Spades. And there you go with that, because that is one thing I'm planning on doing with this, is I want to make this look like the OG Ace of Spades. But do not worry, because I have a second one, which is going to remain as is. So I have this version, and then I have my version. Uh, but, so yeah. Honestly, I think it, for 50 bucks, this isn't bad. Um, yeah, you can definitely, like, chop it down and make it much more competitive. I know uh, Flux Labs has already shown it where they've rewired this to work with the Venom Pro battery, which, honestly, I would not mind doing, uh, just because I don't want to overvolt those motors, and if those were working, to get a little bit more out of them just by putting that in there. Plus, it would definitely be a lighter battery, so it would reduce the weight on it. I'm all for that. Uh, especially if I'm going to be painting this thing up, might as well, you know, give it give it a little bit of a uh, give it a little bit more chutzpah. Why not? So, yeah, that's where I stand on the Ace of Spades. I like it. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got a second of it. So, and that's going to be it for this video as well. So, as always, if you enjoy the stuff we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Ace of Spades. Or, if you happen to play Destiny, what is your favorite weapon in the game? Let me know down in the comments below. I love reading them. And, ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And don't forget, we also have the P.O. Box if you want to send us some snail mail. Um, I believe the holidays are coming up by the time this comes out. So, you know, holiday cards. Um, but, anyway, I digress. So... Again, thank you all for joining us this time, and I will see you guys next time. Later.